Right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Researcher to Reader. I'm looking behind me because I'm seeing nothing on my little monitor here, so Roger's going to just give me a signal. Um, so, uh, welcome uh, to Researcher to Reader. Lovely to see you all here. Um, I hope you're going to have a fantastic couple of days. Um, so, let me uh, just uh, go through a couple of things. Oh, that's the welcome. There we go. Um, firstly, I've got some uh, thank yous to do. So, um, I need to, uh, to thank kind of uh, everybody who's been involved in putting this fantastic program together and getting this event working. So, I'd like to thank the, uh, the speakers, of course, first of all. Um, it looks like I've kicked the wire or something. Uh, no signal? We had it a minute ago. Oh well, anyway. Um, I'd like to thank the speakers for their uh, preparations and contribution. I think we've got a fantastic roster of speakers. We also have some fantastic uh, chairs of these uh, uh, various sessions and of the workshops. Uh, so that's a, a very a powerful uh, a team of people helping us there. We've also got uh, some great panelists and some great debaters. Uh, so that's a fantastic squad we've got there. Uh, facilitators of workshops, crucial role as you'll discover later on this morning. Um, and also uh, my advisory board, who've done a super job, and I'm whipping them and working them harder each year, so they're doing a, a great contribution there. I think, finally, I'm guessing what it says, no, the event team and our sponsors. So uh, we have a great event team who have helped us enormously to get this to, together. Um, our sponsors, of course, are crucial um, to, our, to our success. And I think, last but not least, you lovely delegates for being here today. So thank you for coming as well. Um, so, I'm going to just talk a little bit about delegates. Uh, normally I do a bit of a, a, a demographic presentation at this point. Um, somebody once taught me in a presenting course, you should always talk about your audience because that makes them pay attention and be interested. So, that's just, uh, there's a little bit in your, in your pack, I think the delegate list has a bit of de demographic information as well. But this is the, the four years of the conference uh, as it's been going on and uh, showing the sort of the, the, the numbers growing, I'm glad to say. Uh, we'd really like to get to about 200, but we don't, wouldn't want to be bigger than that, I don't think. Um, and it shows the kind of sectors that the people are from. And this year, we've got a lot of publishers in the room, which is great, of course, to have everybody here. But really, we're looking to increase the proportion of researchers and academics and librarians in order to facilitate that conversation um, across the whole across the whole scholarly communications sector. But that gives you a feel for who's there. Um, also, I'm going to um, just show you a very complex diagram. And I'm going to turn around and watch this as I do it, because otherwise it's going to be very confusing for me. Um, so that's, uh, this, is, this is going to be a, a Venn diagram, you'll be thrilled to know. Um, so this is 2016 when we started with the number of delegates in total. And then there was 2017, 2018, and now a record number in 2019. So then you're asking yourself, well, who's at the intersection? Who's been to all four conferences? And then, of course, there's people who've been to three and people who've been to two and people who've been to one. So that's kind of a fun uh, thing. And so here we have some numbers. And the 20 people in the room who've been to all four, I'm not going to make you stand up, but congratulations. Thank you for coming back. Um, and here are the sort of the, the intersections of the people who've been to various things. I was going to name each group of these. Um, of kind of people who, who came in 2016 and, and have come now as sort of uh, uh, laggardly returners or something. And I was going to create a name for each box, but I held myself back. You'll be very pleased to know. So that's just a bit of demographics of who's coming and who's, who's returning. Uh, and so if you've returned, very pleased to see you back. If you're here for the first time, so that's in the 95 people segment, uh, welcome to the first time to R2R. Uh, I think it's housekeeping next. Um, so, a few things. Uh, Wi-Fi, uh, that's the weird password with the space and the capital letter and everything, and you have to get that exactly right. Also, if you have been here before, I recommend, if you're having trouble with Wi-Fi, is to forget the Wi-Fi and then redo it from scratch. If you just try and reconnect, it seems to be reluctant to do it. So, if you're struggling with that, then, then do that. Um, the uh, Twitter handle, uh, that's our Twitter handle. We don't have a sort of annual Twitter handle, we just have a continuous one, so that's it. Please do tweet like mad. Uh, it's always great to see both in the room and kind of people who are not here what's going on during the event. 
Uh, timekeeping. We're a bit um, uh, officious about timekeeping here. We like to run to time, so we are going to hassle you out of breaks. I know you're, the breaks are your favourite part, uh, but we're going to hassle you to get back into the room and we're going to hassle speakers. I have a special red light this year for speakers, so I'm going to be enjoying using that. Uh, but that is kind of important to us. Um, I mentioned the events team, so we have great support from our events team, uh, and if you have any concerns or problems, if you, if you need anything sorted, you're finding the room too hot or too cold, just find somebody apart from me with a red badge and a red lanyard, and uh, they will rush to your assistance immediately. So uh, we have great support from, from the events hub team there. Um, uh, conduct. I'm always asked if we have a conduct statement and policy, and, and we do, and it's basically just be nice to everybody, so that's the conduct. Um, badges and passes, you've got your badge. Um, on the back of the badge, there is a, a short program. There's also the Wi-Fi password if you've forgotten it. Also, in your badge is the security passes you found to get in. You'll need that again tomorrow if you're back tomorrow, which I hope you are. Um, and at the end, uh, please return the badges in the box or tray or whatever it is that's provided. So, what's next? Uh, delegate survey. I hope in your packs there is a delegate survey. This is fantastically important. We really do get guided a lot by what you say in the feedback. We get plenty of feedback, and I really commend you to, to fill in your delegate survey, and I suggest you fill it in as you go along. I see somebody's got those out, so it's bright yellow, apparently. Uh, thank you. Um, so do fill that in, do return it. There isn't an online survey. You don't get to leave until you've handed in your survey at the end of the second day. Uh, it's a simple process. Um, photography and video recording. So we are recording this, um, and we're doing some photography. Uh, if for some reason you don't want to be videoed, you've told your spouse that you're really having an affair, not here at R2R or something like that, um, then uh, you have to tell us, and we'll try and excise you from the, from the thing. But otherwise, you will be in, in uh, video and audio and so forth. Um, we're also doing a little bit of um, videoing in the workshops, just to get a flavor of what goes on in workshops. Um, and we're also going to be inviting people later on in the conference to do a little kind of uh, vox pop to camera just saying what they've thought of the conference. So please do, if, you're, if someone comes up and volunteers you for that, please do join in because that's a really fun thing to do. So that's video. Um, map and movement. On the back of your program there's a map. It's a bit, if you're first time here, it's a bit of a labyrinth here, but you've got yourself into this room, so that's a start. But there is a map on the back of the program to help you find your way, and that tells you where the lifts and the stairs and the loos and all those things are. Um, if you get lost, there will be people uh, with, uh, with the red badges and lanyards directing you at crucial moments, so that should help. Ah, oh, this is fun, isn't it, all this housekeeping? It's good. Fire exits and fire alarms. Um, yeah, it, there's a fire alarm test at 11 o'clock today, you'll be thrilled to know. So that's not an actual fire, almost certainly. Um, that is a test. Uh, but uh, if you hear a fire alarm, obviously um, leave by the obvious and well-marked exits in a calm and sensible manner, as normal. Okay. School is social. I think it's the last piece of housekeeping. So, uh, by tradition, at the end of the conference tomorrow night, Scholarly Social, which is a uh, scholarly publishing and communications trip to the pub, uh, takes place. There should be a leaflet in your bags about that. So, very welcome to come to the pub, and, and it's a great opportunity to complain to me about uh, the conference at the end of it. So, that's um, uh, thrilling news. Um, so, uh, very welcome to do that. So, I think that is the end of the housekeeping. And so, the next thing to move on to really is, um, in a moment we're going to move on to the next presentation, which is the opening keynote. Uh, so that's going to be very exciting. But just before we go to that, we're just going to have a quick word from our sponsor. So we're very proud to have uh, great sponsors for the event. You should be pleased about the sponsorship too because it keeps the ticket prices down. I estimate that uh, registration would be 50% more expensive if we didn't have sponsors, so think on that. Um, please do support our sponsors. Our gold sponsor this year is Highwire, and as you see the, the brochures on your tables uh, for them and a, and a certain amount of graphics around the place and your lovely bags. Uh, so we're very grateful for the support that they've provided. And I'm just going to now hand over to Oliver White from Highwire, who's going to just say a couple of words, and then Fiona will introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. Uh, good morning. <clears throat> so, Highwire, 
is delighted to participate in this year's conference. These particular events are important to the sector and they're important to us at Highway. As a technology business that serves the scholarly community, uh, it's an opportunity to hear from publishers, but critically from those who create and use the content, and we're pleased to provide our financial support. Across sectors, end user expectations are significantly changing. New technical capabilities are emerging and have been applied successfully across formats and devices, and commercial and distribution models are being challenged. Now, whether it's driven by user expectations or changing market forces, the scholarly publishing sector is not immune to the kind of disruption already experienced with other industries, whether it's music, video, retail, or banking. These all now operate with either new commercial rules or capabilities such as frictionless user authentication and ID management, biometric verification, voice recognition, and wholesale changes in service delivery. Now, with that in mind, over the last several months, we've conducted a study and a workshop with customers regarding Plan S, the options publishers have to implement it and the changes these could mean for commercial models. Now, several publishers that took part are actually here today, and we're grateful to everyone who contributed. The results of the uh, study have been shared through a white paper available on our website and a recent webinar which is also now available on demand. What's great about Researcher to Reader is that it creates the environment for end users to share and discuss requirements with all stakeholders involved in the content supply chain. As a tech provider responsible for delivering these requirements, Highwire is keen to listen, understand and help scholarly publishers adapt to the change ahead. Now, we really look forward to the discussions on behalf of Wire, Highwire team, I wish you all a very successful conference. Thanks, everyone. And now I'm going to hand you over to Fiona. So thank you very much. Thanks very much to, to Highwire.